Welcome to Windows Fixer, your go-to place for fixing those annoying errors, system issues, and optimization tips. And today's topic is all about secure boot failure. Now this issue usually pops up when you're trying to boot into Windows, but instead of your desktop, you get hit with a secure boot error. This can happen after a BIOS reset, a partition style mismatch, corrupted boot keys, or even an outdated UEFI firmware. Let's break down each method that'll help you fix it step by step. Method one, convert partition to GPT for UEFI. If your system is using MBR partition style, secure boot will fail because MBR is tied to legacy BIOS mode. UEFI with GPT is required for secure boot to function. So we need to make sure the partition type is GPT. Now, if you're stuck on the secure boot error and can't reach Windows normally, you'll need to force your system into recovery mode. To do that, turn on your PC, and when you see the Windows logo, hold the power button to force it off. Repeat this two more times, and on the third boot, your system will automatically load into recovery mode. Once you're there, choose Advanced Options, then open Command Prompt. Now type this command, MBR2 GPT slash validate. This checks if your system can be safely converted to GPT. If it says it's validated, then enter this command, MBR2 GPT slash convert. This will convert your system partition from MBR to GPT. And behind the scenes, it also prepares Windows to work with UEFI booting instead of legacy. But this won't magically switch your BIOS. After this step, you must reboot into BIOS, disable CSM or compatibility support module, and enable UEFI mode. Also, look for the secure boot setting and enable it manually if it's available, because secure boot is tied to the UEFI firmware. Your motherboard must support it. If validation fails though, you'll need to reinstall Windows manually using GPT formatting during setup. Method two, disable CSM and BIOS. If CSM is enabled, it forces the BIOS to behave in legacy mode that instantly blocks secure boot from working. So head into BIOS, look for CSM or compatibility support module and disable it. Once that's off, enable UEFI mode, then check for the secure boot setting. If it's there, enable it. After saving and exiting BIOS, your system should now support secure boot properly. Keep in mind, not every BIOS uses the same layout. So take your time while browsing through the menus. Method three, update BIOS or UEFI firmware. If your BIOS is outdated and secure boot might glitch or not show up at all. Newer firmware versions bring support for secure boot and they often fix weird compatibility issues. Now, open Google and type your motherboard model or laptop brand. Like for example, MSI B450 M Pro VDH BIOS update or Asus TUFA 15 BIOS firmware, head to the official website, go to support or downloads and check if there's a newer BIOS version than yours. If yes, download it and follow the instructions. Most manufacturers include a video demonstration or tutorial, use that. Each board has its own method like Asus EZ Flash, MSI M Flash, Gigabyte Q Flash, etc. And just follow the exact steps shown for your model. After updating, Enter BIOS again and check if Secure Boot is now enabled and working. Once this finishes, restart your PC and test again. And that's pretty much all you need to get Secure Boot back on track. Most of the time, it's either the wrong partition type, outdated BIOS, or missing Secure Boot keys. Once you line these up correctly, Secure Boot will work without any drama. Let me know in the comments what fixed it for you. And if you're still stuck, drop your motherboard model. I'll help you figure it out. Catch you in the next one. Stay sharp and keep your system clean with Windows Fixer. Peace out.